All right, we're going to continue with our big idea. Measuring things can help us to compare them and to solve problems. We're going to continue with telling time, but we're now going to move to telling time right to the minute. It takes one minute for the minute hand to move from one mark to the next. So each of these little ticks is one minute. So here we're counting five, 10, 15, 20. This is a little bit after seven, so this would be 720. Um, with now we're moving it one little tick over, so now it's 721. So we could say this is 21 minutes after seven or 721. All right, we can read times after the half hour in two ways. So for example, first of all, we're going to look at this one and we're going to tell the time first. So it's between 11 and 12 and it's closer to 12. So it's 11 something. And if we count all the way around by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, it's just a little bit before 55, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's 11, 54. Um, or we could look at this and say, okay, well, it's five minutes, about five minutes or six minutes before 12. Um, and that's the other way that you can say this time, six minutes before 12. All right, at this point, I'd like you to press pause and try these clocks on the next few pages. All right, let's take a look at these two clocks. We can see here from the hour hand that it's between nine and eight. Um, it's before the 30 minutes, so it's closer to the eight, definitely eight o'clock. Um, we can count from the quarter, 15, 20, 25, and we can see it's two more spots, so that would make it 827. On this clock, we can see our hour is between seven and eight. It's very close to eight o'clock. I'm uh, sorry, to eight o'clock. So that makes it seven. I see I made a mistake. Let me just fix that. Seven something. Um, and if we count across, we can see from 45 to 50 plus two more would make it 752. Note when you're looking at the hour hand, it should not ever be past this time and not be close to the other one. So I knew this was between seven and eight and it wasn't yet eight o'clock because if it was right at eight o'clock, this should be close to the five minute, or 10 minute kind of hand. All right, here we can tell by looking at the hour hand that it's between two and three o'clock, which would make it two, um, uh, two o'clock. And then we could count by fives from 15, 20, 25. It's one past that 26, so that would make it 226. On this clock, we look at the hour hand, it's between seven and eight, so it is seven o'clock. Uh, counting by fives, five, 10, and then one, two, three, four, which would make it 714. Last set to practice with, press pause and try these ones. All right, let's take a look. We can see from this hour hand that it's between 11 and 12 o'clock, so that makes it 11 o'clock. Um, counting from the nearest quarter hour, 30, 35, would make it 30 something, plus 35, so counting by ones, 36, 37, 38, 11, 38. Taking a look at this clock, this hour hand is between 2 and 3 o'clock, so it is 2 o'clock, uh, counting from the quarter hour, 15, 20, 25, 2 more, 26 and 27, so it is 2.27 on this clock. All right, at this point you're going to go on to the concept practice on page 140, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You are going to need to grab the photocopies of the clock. Um, as well, just a heads up that there will be a unit test soon. Part A of this unit will be on the unit test. It will be reading, recording times and dates. Uh, make sure if you have any questions that, of course, you ask.